Hello, good evening, my friends. I know it's Friday and it's kind of difficult to connect again, but it's Friday. Come on, it's Friday. So here we have Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how was your day? Como so tu día? So bad, more or less. So so más o menos. More or less. So so. Okay. So, so, so. times, yes. Uh, today I guess it's it was not a good a good day. Okay. Nice Carlos. Here we have Kenya. Kenya. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good okay. evening. How are you? So so. From one to ten. Eight, seven. Eight. Eight. Okay. Well, eight is a good number. Okay, thank you, Kenya. Okay. What about yes, yes, yes. Bueno, el ingeniero no se ha conectado ya vive. Mm, yeah, that is true. No carito, and carito is always on time. Ya le voy a preguntar. It, it, actually, she turns on the camera first. Ella siempre conecta la cámara y, y notas. You can notice that she's there. Okay. Sí. Well, maybe she is. Uh, well, maybe she has another situation. Okay. So ask her, and then tell us, Kenya. Elisa Bilha Reyes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. You look good, Elisa. You look like very different, like very, I don't know. You look like, you feel better, right? No. <laughs> no. El mismo. The same, lo mismo, come on. Lo mismo. <laughs> Pero te ves, te ves medio radiante, como recién casada. Okay. Well. No, you... para nada. Uh, ya uh, 22 uh, años ya. It's possible, it's possible. Okay, Elisa. And so here we have also Wilfredo. Good evening. Good, good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you tonight? Uh, hi. Fine, okay. That sounds good. What about Carlita? Cabello suelto. Casi nunca la vemos así. Hello, Carly. I don't know what are you saying, Carly. I can't hear you. No te puedo más escuchar. Hoy oh, sí. I'm sorry. Sí. How are you? Hi. From one to ten. Good. Eight. Yeah, but en una escala de uno al diez, from one to ten. Mm, eight. Okay, eight, similar to Kenya. Okay, perfect, Carly. And Luis, good evening, Luis. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Uh, how are you? Excellent, perfect, or tired? Very well, perfect. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Llegó la dormilona. Okay. Ah, okay. Here we have, hello, Miss. Zuniga, welcome back. Bienvenida hello, teacher. Hello, people. Yes, Hello. Hello, Inger. Hello, hello. The first time that Carito is like a little bit late. Carito is always more than on time, más que a tiempo. But well, Carito, everything okay? Yes, teacher. No sé por qué, te noto diferente. No te sé. No. There is something. Hay algo, hay algo. Después nos contamos. Ok. Lo mismo opino. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. Va, ahí está el poder, ahí está el poder. Ya, se está preparando. Ajá, ajá. Era el peinado, teacher. Vamos a ver después. Ok. Unit 3, review and practice. Oh, yes. Finishing unit three, finalizando unidad tres. Siento que yo finalizo las cosas cuando ustedes las finalizan. Siento que. Yes, yes, come on, Kenya. So it means that we have just five more classes, solo cinco clases más. Then, yes, no, yes, no, no cry, yes. Because after this, you're going to have vacations. Van a tener vacaciones. Aunque no les tengan las de Semana Santa completa, van a tener vacaciones de las clases. 
van a poder ver Pedro el Escamoso en Netflix, que ya lo subieron. So, okay, come on. You can see Betty La Fea or whatever you want to see. You can, you're going to be free at night. Van a estar libre en la noche. You can have romantic dates, going to the disco, right? Going for some tequilas. Why not? You deserve it. Se lo merecen. Or if you want uh, to go to a restaurant, perfect. That sounds really good. So class number 15, and here we have ways to ask, how are you? Forma de preguntar, ¿cómo estás? Uh, I have used some of these questions, and uh, most of you, mm, like, you don't get mm, the idea. Eh, yo he usado algunas de estas y a veces no, no han captado quizás la idea porque no las conocían, right? Por ejemplo, a veces yo he utilizado eso, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Right? Porque posiblemente esa frase era conocida, ok? O a veces eh, les digo, how are you feeling? Ah, una de mis favoritas. How is it going? How is it going? It's one of my favorite phrases, okay? So the first, how is everything? How have you been? How are you feeling? What's new with you? How was your day? How is it going? How are the things going? Okay, so the first, ¿Cómo está todo? How have you been? ¿Cómo has estado? How are you feeling? ¿Cómo te estás sintiendo? What's new with you? ¿Qué hay de nuevo contigo? Aunque es Bob's Bunny. Uh, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? How's it going? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo va todo? Eso significa. Oh, how are the things going? Este es más largo. ¿Cómo van las cosas? Okay. So, again, how is everything? Ustedes pueden decir así. How's everything? How's everything? A veces así. How is everything? How have you been? How are you feeling? What's new with you? How was your day? How is it going? How are the things going? How are the things going? Okay. So let's listen to some of you pronouncing these uh, phrases. And you can have like a variety of different forms to say, how are you? How are you? It's very common and it's okay. But... You can expand your vocabulary. Pueden expandir un poquito más su vocabulario y sonaría como que más in, right? So let's listen to Luis and then Elisa. Okay, Luis, select one and pronounce it. How was your day? Perfect. Elisa and Carito. How are the team going? Hmm? Carito, Carlos. How is it going? ¿Ya lo dejaron? No. No, quiere ser la única. Eh, Carlos en Kenia. What's new with you? What's new? What's new with you? Yeah. Kenia, and here we have um, Wilfredo. How are the things going? Good. Wilfredo, Carly. Uh, how are you? How, how have you been? Mm, how have you been? Good. Carly, Steffi. How's everything? Nice. Steffi, Gabriel. How how you been? Mm -hmm. Gabriel, and then we go with Adonai. How oh, was your day? Okay. Uh, Adonai, and then we go with Raquel. She's a friend. How is ev everything? Yes, how's everything? I don't know, Raquel, how are you? No sé cómo te sientes, Raquel. Si es que si no, pues aquí. Ok. Creo que algo dice. Y Andrés, ¿estás por ahí? Yes. Ok, check, uh, select one. How are you feeling? Yes, how are you feeling? That's good. So this is uh, like part of Oh, the prices to ask, how are you? Good. Now, here we have, um, let's see, one, two, good, this. 
what subjects do you think should be included included in the education system? Okay, this is the first question. Y esto va más que todo, it is directed to what would you like to study in the past? ¿Qué te gustaría haber estudiado en el pasado? ¿Qué cosas te hubiese gustado aprender en el pasado? That, similar to that, right? But, ¿qué de materias eh, piensas que deberían de incluirse en el sistema de educación? Okay, so, but first, um, before, before going to this question, I will check uh, your, the attendance list. Please say hello if you are there, okay? Andrés, hello. Hello. Um, Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you. Carita. Present. Nice. Nice. Edwin. No, Edwin. Eli. Sa. Present teacher. Thank you. Steffi. Present. Ready. Gabriel. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Jackie. Uh, Patty. Okay. Joa, no, Joa is. Uh, she's a. Carly. Present. Thank you, Kenya. Present. Luis. Present. Uh, Mardo. No. Okay, uh, Oscar. En Aguachapán, Marto. Está en Aguachapán. Oh. Me imagino. Eh, Raquel, I don't know. Yes, Raquel. Walter. No, ah, Walter también está. Será. William. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin. Present teacher. Nice. And Wilfred. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, so what subject do you think should be included in the education system? Okay, in this case, maybe we can start with Carito. Any idea what would you like to have studied in Colombia or here in El Salvador? Okay, teacher. Okay, I guess maybe in Colombia because uh, you studied elementary, basic school there, right? I yes, yes, it is. Yes, sir. Okay, I consider that sexual education according to each age, basic finances, how to deal with emotion and frustration, how to undertake effective communication. Wow. <laughs> yes, that's it. And I guess, Carito, that all of these uh, subjects or areas can help you to have or to take better decisions, right? In every sense, the work. Yes, it is. Okay, thank you, very nice. And uh, what about uh, Kenya and then Ellie? Okay, teacher. Hmm. First, Bible knowledge. And mm -hmm. second, nutritional food. Uh, third, uh, children building. Fourth, child advice and sexual abuse. Okay, sexual abuse could it be dentro de sexual education, pero en específico, yes, sexual abuse and how to deal with it. Cómo lidiar con eso, cómo reaccionar frente a todo eso. That's really uh -huh. important. Sí, right. es muy importante. Más con el bullying. Yes. Uh, every kid has like a big universe inside his or her brain. And the bullying, the problems at school, imagine the kid is fighting with a lot of uh, problems. So, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely we need this. Thank you, Kenya. And Elisa, and then we go with Gabriel. Okay. What subject do you think to be included in the education system? Economy, food, your qualification, me mechanics, and psychology. Okay. Okay. 
to appliances that, that is similar to, to that, okay, good. And what is the last one that you, that you said? Ellie, the last one. La última, la última que dijiste. Ah, psicología. Ok, seguro. Sí. Okay. Antes había visto mechanic. Ah, ok, mechanics. Ok. I, I studied psychology when I was in high school. It was a subject, era una materia that was my favorite subject. Unfortunately, I, I just studied the first year. Y me hubiese gustado ser psicólogo. I would like... No. I... Suficiente con mis locuras para lidiar con las de los demás. No, come en on. español, teacher. Come on. No. no para ser no? psicólogo no. tiene que ser uno más loco que loco. <risa> yes. Entonces hubiera sido excelente. Es posible, sí. Soy un poquito... <risa> Se me zafan las tejas. Con... Ok. <risa> ok, perfect. Thank Gabriel Wright. Are you there? Okay, teacher. More languages uh, should be included. Do not use English. Mm -hmm. Are yeah. there French? ¿Cómo se dice portugués? Portuguese. Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Portuguese. Portuguese. Japanese. Uh, robotica. Robotics. Yes. Robotics. robotics and yes. Moran civics. More civic, uh, children uh, from high school. Okay, nice. Okay, very interesting. I guess languages is important, not just English, but here in Salvador, here we have some call centers and there are some accounts, I cuentas in call center, uh, in Portuguese, in French, in mm -hmm. Korean, French. I guess, Mandarin or Korean. People working in there. Ok, thank you. Bueno, y no solo para trabajar en eso, sino que, bueno, well, those are options. Ok, what if we we'll listen to Wilfredo? And then Carlos. Eh, if you can see computer, English and robotics will be excellent option for the student and the education system. Yeah, definitely, yes. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see, Carlos. Yes, teacher. In my point of view, I think they sold an other language to the educational system. For example, Italian is Chine Chinese. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Italian and Chinese, of course. Why not? And yes. thank you. Thank you, Carlos. No sé cómo recuerdan qué tan buenos o malos recuerdos tienen de su maestro de inglés en básica. Uh, I guess some of us had good and some other a good teachers, right? I don't know. Uh, for example, uh, you, Carly, ¿tuviste, un buen, tuviste buenos maestros de inglés? No. Not really. O tú no querías. No, solo pasaba chambeando. El maestro. ¿No ponías atención? Yo ponía atención, pero, o sea, ¿cómo iba a aprender si solamente escribían a pesar, uno copiaba y hasta ahí? Okay. No explicaban ni decían nada. Y ya se ponía a hablar con unas compañeras que ya se llevaba con él. Pero las de ahí. Las favoritas, no. las favoritas. Ajá, las favoritas. Una persona me dijo aquí una vez, recuerdo eso. Yes. Sus yes. favoritas, me dio. Sus favoritas, ajá. Sí, ok, es... y, la, y vos también se, segundeas, como dicen. No, son bromas. Hay <laughs> mujeres. Carito, what do you think about it? Did you have good teachers? ¿Tuviste buenos maestros de inglés o en general buenos maestros? I, I guess, yes, the problem was me. <laughs> I Come wasn't on. very intelligent. I don't know. No, you are, but maybe. You didn't want to, to pay attention, or were you hyperactive? Eres, eres hiperactiva or, no, the opposite. Distracted. Ah, yes, uh, timida, como, I don't know. Shy. Así como yeah. yo, shy, yes. Okay. Of course. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, okay, so that happens. Si me hubiera conocido si bien jovencito, me, me vería shy. Very. Okay, so what about Ellie and you? Good teachers, bad teachers, more or less, some of them. Excepto por la, una profesora de matemática, no me puedo quejar de mis teachers. Eh, y en cuanto al teacher de inglés, todavía recuerdo el, bueno, el mejor que tuve según mis memorias, que eh, fue don Wilfredo Montalvo López. Eh, a veces pienso, no es que tal vez fueran malos profesores, sino que en aquel entonces era un inglés muy básico y no tenía la importancia o la relevancia que se le da al, yes. al idioma inglés hoy I en guess. día. That, that's, that's very important. No era, el contexto era diferente. Right. That's it. Okay. Right. Thank you. And I guess some of you have uh, good memories and bad memories of teachers. I have good memories. Tengo buenos buenas, que recuerdo de buenos maestros y maestros, pero también I have some others. Y a medida que yo estaba estudiando el área de docencia, me he dado cuenta que cosas que no tenía que hacer y que ellos hicieron muy mal. Right? So, but it's part of learning, part of aprendizaje. Okay, so before we go to this, um, remember that we had like, uh, we had the, the present continuous, ya vamos a terminar este tema, because we have to study some other topics, but, yeah, okay. So we're going to, to start with here, okay? Remember, affirmative, negative, and interrogative, right? We have some other exercises to do. Here we have few, tenemos poquitos, okay? And these are mixed sentences. Son oraciones mezcladas. Affirmative, negative, or interrogative, okay? So um, if you see not, si ven la palabra not, <laughs> Definitely, it, it is a negative sentence, right? And if you see, ah, no tenemos, no tenemos, eh, hay interrogativa, solo affirmative and negative, okay? Not, it's negative. Okay, we're going to start now with Luis and then Cari. Let's start here. Um, okay, Luis, pick one. Formal oración, teacher. Huh? Formar oración es que me perdí, no, no. Ah, oh, yes, I'm going to give you time. Te voy a dar tiempo para que le des una revisada. Sí, tenemos que formar. Okay. Eh, las oraciones son las que vamos a agregar el verbo to be el, oh, okay. y el verbo con ing. Si tiene not, es negativa y le agrega. Ok. Ok, okay. Carito, and then and Luis. Oh, sorry, Carito. Eres muy... Uh, I'm sorry, teacher. Could you explain me again? I'm sorry, I get lost. Ah, le agregamos el verbo to be, luego el verbo con ing. Siempre el presente continuo. Ok, Num number four. I, I, I am like ah, I'm sorry, I'm, so, I'm sorry, oh. I'm sorry, sorry. Tenemos mezcladas, tenemos mezcladas. Presente oh, okay. simple y presente continuo. Okay. Ajá, entonces acá sería presente, nada más. Okay, I like a supermarket, but my father doesn't. Yes, that's it. No puedo decir me, me, no sé, estoy gustando algo así. Thank you, querido. Okay, Luis, and then we go with, um, Carly. Okay, Luis. Not ready. N number six. Teacher. Number six, okay. We are not take the bus to school. Take him. We are not taking. Thank you. Okay, good. Carly. And then we go with Wilfred. Okay, Carly. Okay, and maybe if Carly is not ready, Wilfredo and then Adonai. Okay, Wilfredo, please. Number two, teacher. Or, or cut. Seldom. Seldom. Mm -hmm. A menudo. 
Da sofa. Aquí sería como es un presente, como dice a menudo, dice nuestro gato, a menudo se acuesta en el sofá. Okay. Lies. Y se le agrega es porque tercera persona. Ok. Pero sí estaba difícil. Adonai en Kenia. Adonai en Kenia. Number one. Look the lady. She is not to wearing her uniform. Wearing. El two no lo utilizamos. It's not wearing a uniform. Thank you. Kenia. And then we go with Carlos. Nice. Mm -hmm. I am having a cup of the new. Okay, I'm having, yes. Yes. See, yes. sí, now, now. Okay, Carlos, and after Carlos, we go with Gabriel. Seven teacher. Mm -hmm. Where are? Yeah. You coming. Good, Carlos. Coming Excellent. From. That's the attitude. Okay. Where are you coming from? Good. And what about who? Gabriel and then In? Elisa. Three. Three. Esta sí es una pregunta. Um, to today? Ok. Eh, es present continuous. R. R2. No, el 2. Olvídense del 2. El 2, olvídense de eso. No lo necesitamos. Uh -huh. Extin. 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 Ok. Thank okay. you. Elisa, number 5 or 8. And then we're going to listen to Jackie. What? Uh, uh, number five. Uh, six, five. Uh, what are? Es un hombre. What he? What he? What he? What he? To do what he meant in your garden? In your garden? What is? What is? What is the man doing? What is the man doing? Okay, nice. Hey, Jackie, are you there? Bueno, si no está Jackie. Ya vamos con Carly. Okay, Carly, number eight. It's a question. Vamos, es una pregunta también. Is your girlfriend is is Perfect. Thank you, my dear friends. Now we continue with uh let's see. Here I have a conversation. Just I'm terminando con este tema porque el lunes vamos ya con otro. So ever and Beth. Uh, this is like a, a short conversation. And here we have, let me see if we identify new words. So, Beth, long time, let's see, who are you? This, doing this. Course, sounds, con la S final, sounds, incidents. Essential, essential. Completed or completed. Essential. Found. Found. Better. So, listening, sin la T. Listening, listening. Exercises, okay? Doing things. Uh, doing this, perdón. Doing this. Uh, cars, sounds, 
coincidence, coincidence, como coincidencia, coincidence, essential, completed, aún, better, listening, exercise. Ok, so here, maybe can you help us, Carito? Sorry, teacher. Uh, teacher. Essential. Sí, teacher, ya lo mando. No, 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 Carito. Help me pronounce it. Ok. Es... Ok. Thank you. Solo... Dame un momento, Carito. Tú vas a hacer bed, ok. And we're going to have um, like Adonai ever. Pero essential, me estaban preguntando, ¿verdad? Essential, essential. Yo es creo que es, essential. así se llama, creo que un, una marca de shampoo, creo. O oh, no. Pero es essentials, creo. Sí. Son productos de catálogo. Mm. Really? Oh, sí. Okay. Creo que en algún lado, en algún lado. Experta le está diciendo. En algún momento de mi vida la vi, no sé dónde, pero creo que sí la vi, ¿ok? So that's it. Ok, uh, Ever, you start, and then Carito, please. Hi, Beth. Uh, Adonai. Hi, Beth. Long time to see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am so taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I now am calling you who completed the course is talking a training in England this day. You're right, I'm studying on my own. You know, I am really nervous to have better results. Great, right, well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Thank you, very nice. Con la palabra aún, Hay una canción de un grupo que se llama Brad, que se llama Everything I Own. Y la otra es Living on My Own de Freddie Mercury. Eh, bueno, esta canción ya seguramente se la, se la conocen. So, you are right. I, I am studying on my own. Estoy estudiando por mi cuenta. En la primera, la canción se llama Everything I Own, eh, todo lo que yo poseo. Eh, eso es como de, de propiedad, pero también significa eh, por mí mismo o por mis medios. Que okay, soy, you're right, I'm studying on my own. Estoy estudiando por eh, mí mismo. Ok. So, doing this uh, course sounds coincident very well. Essential, completed. Um, um, better, better. Listening, better. no listening. Uh, sino que no se pronuncia la T. Listening. And exercises. Lo, lo hicieron muy bien. ¿Sí? Teacher, ¿cómo? ¿Hm? ¿Cómo dice? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Coincidence. Coincidence. Ah, coincidence. O incidence. Coin. En la I lleva el acento. Coincidence. Coincidence. Okay, so Carito, can you help me please? Would you do me a favor? Si era para enviarlo, ya lo envié, teacher. Oh, Carito, es muy oficial. I know, I know, I know. Okay, perfect. So see you in a moment. I need you to practice all those words, especially the ones that are underlined. Más que todas las que están subrayadas. It would be a good idea, okay? Uh, give me like 30 seconds. I need just to arrange this.
Okay, see you in a moment. Carly, necesito que aceptes la soli. Yes, that's right. You, you are, you are right. I am studying on my own. You, you know, I am reading. No el chuja vidir resul. Resul? Resul, así va. Resul, ajá. Uh -huh. Resul, sí. Uh -huh. Great, well, I am doing listening ex exercise. They help a lot. Okay. okay. Yo, Hoy yo. Empieza usted, sí. Hello, Ever. What are you doing these uh, days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project, and also I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence! I am also taking an. Do you hear me? Hi, William. Um, problema con el inter de William, quizás. We have a, okay. a technical problems. Hola, hola. I hear you. Yeah. Now? You yes. can hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay, continue. The begin or I'm, go I'm going to read the the second um, the second text for bed. That sounds great. What a coincidence.
Okay, what if we'll listen to Kenya? Who was your classmate? Quien fue tu compañero, Kenya? Adonai. Pero Adonai ya pasó, así que vamos a... Como de nuevo. Puede, refil, no, refil. En lugar de refil, vamos con Eli. Ok, Kenya and Eli. Ok, comienzo Eli. Okay. Hi, okay. Hi, long time you see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are, what are you doing these days? I am okay. Where? I am working on a new project. And also, I am talking in first these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also thinking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this, this, these days. I know. I call it who complete. Teacher, esa palabra siempre me. It's complete. Completed. 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 <laughs> the course is talking a training in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am creating novice to create better results. Great work. I am doing listen exercise. They help a lot. Okay, nice. Eh, complete, creo que hay un cereal que se llama Complete, creo. Entonces, es de Kellogg's. Ah, pues sí, haciendo la propaganda. Completed, complete. ajá, completed, taking, taking, these days, these days, con ese las dos palabras. Ah. Right, right, and great, great, right, and great. Okay. Right, great. Right, and great. Okay, thank you, uh, my friends. Let's continue with this. And, and here we have, um, see. What subjects do you think should be included in uh, education systems? Okay. So in this case, we're going to listen to Adonai. And then we go with William. Okay, Adonai, what about you? Mm. Marvin Adonai, are you there? Okay, then let's listen to um, William. What do you think about this? What subjects do you think should be included in the education system? Okay, um, for this question, I consider that it's important subject um, development software um english full english uh, um, art okay art. Mm -hmm. yeah that's good yeah that, that's it's fine opinion. yes good software development is nice arts definitely yes but not as artística o creatividad because that's not the way arts are, teach, are taught uh, arts are uh, not just painting arts are not are not just dancing or music there are different types of arts right yeah so it's similar to sports sports it is not just soccer football, yeah right? there are different sports in which students can be included uh, maybe yes, like have uh, like a hobby or favorite sport. Okay, thank you, William and Luis, and then Adonai. Okay, teacher. Uh, for example, um, robot robotics subject, uh, our analytical mechanics, uh, advanced science. Okay, advanced. And advanced science. Science. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, uh, let's listen now to Adonai. Are you there? 
Okay, sorry, teacher, my cell is fire. No problem. Oh, my answer, they should include more engineering from secondary education, also economic administration, as well as language and the technologies that primary suggest. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Very nice. Yeah, very good. Very, very good okay. points. Um, let's listen now to Carly. Are you there? No sé si se me desapareció, Carly. No, teacher, aquí estoy. Es que ocurrió un problema en mi casa, entonces por eso he quitado la, la cámara. Ok, ¿necesitas tiempo? ¿Are you ok? Eh, no, eh, más o menos, pero mm, lo que pueda voy a participar. Ok, no problem. ¿Puedes participar okay. ahora? Yes. Ok, go ahead. Ok, sería Fanishon Education or Person Economic. Economic. <coughs> Yes, personal economic. Yes, or personal, pongámosle finance. Personal finance. finance. Mm -hmm. Finanzas personales, que es algo que yo quería mencionar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, thank you, me la ganaste. Okay. Good. And uh, Andres, are you there? Mm, yes. Steffi? Okay, Andres, do you have an opinion about this question? Okay. In my opinion, uh, the show be included the religious and moral value because today they have been a lot. Okay, okay, thank you. Very nice. And uh, what if Stephanie? I don't know if she's struggling. So. More English, yeah, robot. Okay, good, perfect. I guess uh, all of your answers are okay, and there would be like workshops. Sería interesante que hubiesen como talleres o materias optativas, right? In which the student could uh, select or take the some subjects that they are. Uh, they are attracted to. Okay, for example, there are some some students that they would like software devel development. Not all those arts, advanced science, advanced science, uh, robotics. Okay, languages, uh, religion, moral. Y esta considero, in my opinion, it should be like very, very what uh, very fundamental en like obligated, como obligatoria. Finanzas personales. And I mean how to save money, how to invest, how to administrate personal money. Cómo administrar el, el, el tema pues, de, de finanzas personales. Esto es tan importante. Llegamos a adultos y pues eh, estamos prácticamente, estaba escuchando unos podcasts, de, 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 un, de un equipo de El Salvador. Bueno, ellos, ellos, ellos hacen, hablan sobre economía y estaban hablando, no sé qué tan, uh, I don't know, uh, if they have uh, studies, well, or developed studies, si de verdad han desarrollado sus estudios, pero sí, they say that from 10 people, well, 10, uno, uno o dos de 10 personas, one or two out of 10, cuando digo así, se recibe. One out of ten. Estoy diciendo uno de diez. Aunque sé que out significa fuera, pero cuando dice one out of ten, o oh, están diciendo two out of ten are economically okay. Están económicamente bien, not only uh, receiving money, earning money, but also administrating. Pero no solo ganando dinero, sino que administrando. Um, three of them, three out of them, uh, they are like uh, money that they earn, money that they are spent. Dinero que ganan, dinero que pierden. Okay? And they say that the other three, they are on the way, on the way to be broken. Camino a estar quebrados. Okay? Imagine that. 
and the other two are totally broken. Y los otros dos están totalmente quebrados, en la ruina, endeudados, y hipotecando casas, and all those things. So, uh, it is uh, really bad, that really negative for families in Salvador that we uh, don't have like a good personal uh, finance administration. Yeah, I guess. Yes, Ellie, quería comentar algo. Ellie. Es que a nosotros lo que nos enseñan más que todo, que nos lo meten hasta por los oídos, es el uh, más consumer aims. Yes, consumer. Yes, we consumer. consume. Yes, we consume a lot of things and we don't produce. Consumimos y no producimos. And Correct. that's it. So that, 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 that's part of this. I don't know. Consumimos if... más de lo que ganamos. That's it. The key, the key, la clave is to consume or spend less money than you earn. Menos dinero del que ganas. Esa es la clave, okay. right? Yes, but if you, if you say teacher, but uh, I, I just uh, earn like $400, what can I do? Solo gano 400, ¿qué puedo hacer? Well, maybe we should have some other sources of money. Debemos tener otra fuente de, de, de ingreso, those things, right? Porque o es el problema, we have a problem of administration or it's a problem of earnings. Es un problema de administración o un problema de ingresos. Two, two options. So, yes, I have been reading books. He estado leyendo libros sobre finanzas. Yes, I like it. Me he dado cuenta que me gustan. So, Muy interesante. Yes, cuesta un poquito because it's part of habits. La clave son los hábitos. Los hábitos son los que nos hacen to succeed or to go down. Okay, so, well, I guess so. That, that's yes. not my opinion. Ah, okay. Recomienda el libro, teacher. Eh, le voy a mandar un links mañana si se los mando. Tengo que enviarles muchos links y le tengo, tengo una tarea pendiente con Carito. Que, eh, aquí está, mira Carito, no se me olvida. No se me olvida. <laughs> yes, que me pidió algo. Okay, so that's it. Carito, I don't know, you have seen the behavior Esto se le llama comportamiento. Behavior. Ya te, es, ya te hago la pregunta. Yes. Ya te okay. hago la pregunta, Carito. Ahorita tengo una curiosidad. Behavior es comportamiento y behave es comportarse. Sustantivo y no. Eh, sustantivo y verbo. Carito, en Colombia, people... Uh, administrate the money similar to El Salvador or yes you... totally <laughs> the same lo mismo yes. Yes. okay so I we, can... we don't have a financial education so the the almost people uh, spend more money than the win I, I don't but remember they... the earn earn I, yeah earn 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 oh. O sale, como decimos en Colombia, sale tablas, pues, ras con ras, lo que gana. Yes, ajá, es que, es que ese es el punto, ese es el punto. Sí, coyó el sí, quebrado, sí. coyó el comido. That's, it. That's, That's it. right. That's right, if you do it, it means that uh, maybe they are not broken, no están quebrados, no están en bancarrota, but they are on the way, they are, that, that's their destiny, ese es su destino, so that's it. Uh, so here we have earn, ganar dinero, spend, gastarlo, y waste es eh, desperdiciarlo. Ok. Y falta la otra. Invest, invertir. Ok. That's it. And there are a lot of keys. Le voy a recomendar a uh, un par de podcasts que considero que son buenísimos, que, que, que ayudan bastante. But it will, anyway, so I, I, I had that uh, point. Well, I wanted to know that from Carito about uh, the behavior in Colombia, uh, of Colombians, and because Salvadorians, we are, we are crazy on Black Fridays. We are crazy on December time, on holidays, because we want to spend, spend our money. And the, 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 the bonus, for example, Aguinaldo, the bonus that we have, uh, 
one day or two day and then, or maybe the, the same day, it disappeared, disappeared, right? Colombia, the Colombian people spend a lot of money on December. It's a crazy thing. Okay. Uh, I, I guess that they spend money on presents, on dinner, drinks. Food, with the family. Uh, present, uh, clothes. It's like a traditional uh, clothes for 24, 25, 31, and 1st of January, January 1st. Okay, yes. Mm, I can imagine here in El Salvador it's similar, but maybe not in that way. But yeah, we, we are like, this is algo que nosotros tenemos muy normalizado. Uh, debts, as deudas. That's normal for us to have that. And it, it shouldn't be, you know, debería hacerlo, right? You know what is the difference uh, between Salvador and Colombia about debts that the... Ah, pero se otra cosa. <laughs> Los intereses here is really high. And the... La manera como hacen los coros, o sea, te atrasas un día, ya debes un montón de dinero, allá no es tan, bueno, no era cuando yo vivía allá, digo, aquí son sanguinarios, la verdad. Yes, uh, there is something that is called loan, el préstamo, loans, I guess all of us have had uh, loans, todos hemos tenido préstamos, and yes, the percentage is really high, so, well, it's a crazy thing, but we Keep on doing it. Lo seguimos haciendo here, and in any, in most of the countries in Latin America. So unfortunately, it is. So well, we continue. Ya que hablamos de finanzas, and then uh, we go with this. Okay, write a six-line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. Let's see temporary events. Okay, I am working on a new project. Vean, son eventos temporarios que no lo van a hacer siempre, solo lo quieren. Uh, for example, your boss uh, asks about something for Monday, okay? I am working on a new project. I am taking an English course. No van a, no van a tomar un curso de inglés toda su vida, right? Maybe you're going to take it for one, two, three years, I guess, but no more, more than that, right? Uh, taking a uh, training, studying on my own, reading novels. Bueno, hay gente que pasa leyendo toda su vida. I am doing listening exercises. Necesito que me mencionen una actividad. Si pueden hacer dos. Okay. One um, temporary activity. Una actividad temporal que la van a hacer este fin de semana, pero que no se va a repetir tanto, tantas veces, right? Uh, or you can do it uh, next week. La van a hacer la otra semana, right? Uh, at your workplace and so on. Okay, so think about it. Think about it. Les he dejado esta para que tengan una idea, right? They say a paragraph of six activity, activities, but we're going to just uh, share, vamos a compartir, share just one. Okay, so what, uh, what if Kenya tells us, no dices Kenya, one activity? I am. I am studying. What? Okay. I am studying. I am studying on my house. On my house. Oh, o tengo que decir algo mío. Sí, porque ah, si no okay. sería copia, copia, copia. Oh, okay, okay. I am, I am studying in. Okay. I am studying for the test. We have to have part of the exam, right? So the, okay, good. So what about Carito and then William? Okay, teacher. <laughs> My daughter and I uh, having breakfast on Sunday morning at the Pizza Hut. Oh, that's really good. Fine. Okay. Fine. I'm going to Okay. William and Luis. Okay, I I driving tomorrow at the frontera. Two 
to the frontera. Okay, really? Wow. Yeah. Nice, William. Good. Luis and then Elisa. I am running on the street. Good. Yeah, very nice. Elisa and Carlos. Okay. I am Chay pot plants of weekend. Mm -hmm. Good. Carlos and Adonai. Okay, teacher. I I I am going to drain house. Good. Adonai, uh, then we go with Wilfredo. Okay. I am going to have a statistics seminar this Saturday. Okay, I'm I'm having. I am having. Okay. Good. Thank you. And Gabriel and Edwin. Uh, Gabriel, are you ready? No, no estoy listo ahorita, teacher. Okay. Uh, let's listen now to Edwin. Steffi. Hello, teacher. Okay. Sí, listo. Okay, I guess no. Okay. Let's continue with this. Uh, here we have how to use present continuous for temporary situations. Uh, let's hear. Luis, can you help me, please? Could you help me reading uh, this part? Um, use the present continuous for temporary situation. That's experience, expression. Expression these uh, days. These days and at the moment are often used in, to, to emphasize. Um, to emphasize that temporary aspect of the activity. Thank you, Verena. Emphasize, emphasize, good. Emphasize. Yes, here, here we have some examples. So for these examples, we're going to have uh, Adonai number one, please. Sample number one, I am reading an ebook this day. This is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book. Thank you. Es temporal porque la persona will finish, va a finalizar este libro. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's listen number two, Kenya, please. Wendy. Okay, teacher. Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. The meeting will finish sooner or later. Sooner or later. Tarde o temprano. Sooner or later. Bueno, sooner, soon es temprano, later es tarde. Sooner or later. Thank you. And Elisa, number three, we are taking. We are taking an English course. The course will end. Okay. The course will end. Yeah, that's it. So uh, at the end, the course will go, is going to finish. Va a terminar el curso de inglés, right? It's not for her. Okay. And um, let me see here. What do we have? Um, some other activities. Okay, here I have a conversation that I'm, I need you to practice, but let me see. Okay. Okay, here we have this uh, conversation, uh, three and four, okay? What is Bob doing? Um, Bob is working on his car. He is giving a tune up, tune, tune up, ¿verdad? Está, está arreglando. He is changing, changing the oil and checking all parts, the cars, but is, is it, but he's not working. He's just, He's just standing, standing there. He's taking his time because he wants to do the job right. He's listening to the radio as he works. ¿Qué está haciendo Bob? Bob está trabajando en su carro. Él está dando una, una pequeña manita, una arregladita. Está cambiando el aceite y revisando toda la... P. 
pero él no está trabajando. Solo está parado ahí, standing there, solo está parado ahí. Él está, se está tomando su tiempo porque quiere hacer bien su trabajo. Él está escuchando la radio mientras trabaja. Tune up, tune up. Changing, standing, right. Tune up. También ustedes la han escuchado cuando dicen eh, están tuneando. Ya ese carro está tuneado, la moto está tuneada. Tune viene de arreglar, ¿verdad? De mejorar. Ok, conversation four. Where are the twins? Twins es gemelos. Where are the twins? They are playing outside. Están jugando allá afuera. They are playing soccer with their friends. They are using the front lawn as a soccer pitch. Are they having fun? And uh, they are having a lot of fun. They are exercising. Exercising. So they are burning lots of energy. I think they are trying to lose weight. Lose weight. Okay. So um, here we have, see? Um, just give us a comment. Okay. Um, where are the twins? Carito, que dije que era twins? Gemelas. Gemelos. Gemelos o gemelas. Gemelas. Okay. ¿Dónde están las gemelas? Están jugando afuera. Están jugando uh, fútbol, soccer, con sus amigos, ¿verdad? Están usando uh, el césped. Uh, el césped de enfrente adelante como, como campo de fútbol ¿okay? se están divirtiendo se están divirtiendo bastante uh, se están ejercitando así que están quemando burning se están quemando uh, mucha energía ya yeah, trying to lose weight están tratando de perder peso lose weight es perder peso lose weight ok so again tune up Changing, changing, standing, right, twins, outside, outside, exercising, exercising, burning, burning, lose weight, lose weight, okay. Perry Joe, could you help me please with the screenshot? Ya lo mandé al chat, teacher. Thank you very much, my friends. I'm going to see you in three, four minutes. In three, four minutes, okay, let's practice a little bit.
Hello, Jackie. Okay, let's see. Do we have volunteers? Maybe Luis, can you help us? Luis, who okay. was your classmate? Your oh. partner? Uh, Gabriel. Yeah. Okay, Gabriel. Uh, can you, number three or number four? Uh, number three. Okay, go. Okay. Come here, Sayo. What is Bo doing? Uh, but is working on his car. She is giving it a, a tune and hook. She is changing the the oil and checking on the parts of the car. But he is not working. He is just standing there. there. She is taking his time because she wants to do to the job right. She is listening. Listen to, to the radio as she work as he works. As he works, as she, good as she to works. radio. Okay, nice. Let's listen now to um maybe Edwin, who was your classmate? Hello, it is Elisa. Okay, please, number four. Okay, we are the twins. They are playing. Lisa. Hey, Lisa, the microphone. Excuse me. No problem. <laughs> they are playing outside. They are playing soccer with their friends. They are using the front low uh, a soccer pitch. Are they having fun? There are having a lot of fun. There are ex exercises today are burning lots of energy. I think they are trying to lose weight. Wow, good pronunciation. Solo esta palabra, fun, fun. Como que si fuese... Funny, fun. Ajá, como funny. 
fan y también, pero la con A significa ventilador. Fan. Ok. But anyway, ok. But the same pronunciation. Ok, good. Thank you very much. Ok, we're about, solo nos quedan como 25 minutos de clase. Así que, bueno, bien, 35. But we'll go to the listening part. Ok, so be ready with the pen or pencil and to take notes. Just give me a second. Okay, let's listen, please. The speech on respect from childhood, our parents and elders taught us how to respect others. Respecting our nation's love and regulation is also essential. Our country has people with different moral values, religion and cultural background. But irrespective of all the factors, we should respect everyone. Respect comes from the qualities, abilities, and achievements of whoever you want to respect. Okay, listen again. The speech on respect. From childhood, our parents and elders taught us how to respect others. Respecting our nation's love and regulation is also essential. Our country has people with different moral values, religion, and cultural background. But irrespective of all the factors, we should respect everyone. Respect comes from the qualities, abilities, and achievements of whoever you want to respect. Okay. Tell me what you identify. What did you write? Okay. Let's... I Wait identify now. different words. Others, mm -hmm. country, uh, however, speech and speak, uh, people, religion, qualities, and abilities. Good. Very mm -hmm. nice. Uh, anyone else? Okay. okay. Country. Factory, sometimes love everyone. Perfect, good. Okay, Carlos, do you have other? And then Luis. Respect, love, and encountering in people, everyone, the activity. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, teacher. Yes. Uh, Country, people, everyone, whoever, or parents, qualities, ability. ability. Mm -hmm, very nice. Good. Okay. Do have a lot of uh, words. Perfect. Anyone else? Okay. Mm, Elisa. Carito. Que no me levantado la mano ahora. Que extraño. Hmm. Okay, teacher. Um, a speech of respect parents, how to respect others, country, religion, uh, qualities, factors, abilities, whoever, older and essential. <coughs> Very nice. Ellie, thank you. Alito. Okay. I can see people, quality, activities, older, new country, based on my one. Mm. Okay. Very nice. I guess you you listened a lot of words this time okay speech on respect let's listen one more time
the speech on respect. From the childhood, our parents and elders taught us how to respect others. Respecting our nation's laws and regulation is also essential. Our country has people with different moral values, religion, and cultural background, but the respect of all the factors, we should respect everyone. Respect come from the qualities, abilities, and achievements of whoever you want to respect. Okay, I really like this topic. Me gusta mucho este tema. So, Solo dos uh, palabras, tengo buenas. Come on, <laughs> can you come on? Me, o sea que me estabas inventando. Hmm. Ya, no, leí, leyendo aquí lo que veo y lo que estoy observando, lo que anoté, por lo que veo son las dos palabras que tengo buenas. Bueno, no creo, no creo. Aunque ustedes son un grupo muy creativo. Bastante sí, teacher, creativo. Es que le hacemos con los ocho las letras. Eh, me gusta que a veces les he preguntado cosas y me han inventado una, pero me gusta que sean creativos. Me alegra. Tienen potencial. No en inglés. Tratamos, tratamos. No, claro. Teacher, yes. teacher voy, voy llegando a casa, teacher. Hello, Mardo. Te veo con el cabello sorry, mojado. Sorry. ¿Está lloviendo por allá? o or... Es la gelatina, teacher. Ajá. Okay. <risa> y para la clase, gelatina. Es que siempre que veo a alguien demasiado peinado en clase, lo veo muy sospechoso. Ah, <laughs> ya me va a decir el, el, el viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. Well, yes. <laughs> ya yes. lo dijiste, Mardo. Ya lo dijiste. Mardo, no, eh, no, bien nada, tranquilito. Ya está. Mardo, hoy te despaché temprano. Qué raro que ahorita vas llegando. Ok. Sí, 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 pero ah, te despaché, no moleste. Ok, son, <laughs> son cosas que pasan, Mardo. Uno se tropieza sí, y sí. cae en otros lugares. Yes. Así es. Lo bueno es levantarse. Of course, yeah, that's the attitude. Okay. okay, good. Thank you, Mardo, for telling me. Okay, childhood is la niñez. And for me, is one of the most important stages in life. Stage is etapa. Stages. For me, it's not just one of the most important. Is the most important stage in life. Okay. So uh, the topic is uh, respect, right? So um, here we have, when we say background is nuestro antecedentes, o nuestro pasado. And we should, deberíamos respect everyone, but it, well, it is not, it is not well, part of our reality, okay? Um, la vez pasada le, les puse los ejemplos de whatever, wherever, whoever. ¿Alguien se recuerda que es whoever? Quien sea. Yes, quien sea. Good. So that's it. And con, in, in relation to this topic, we have the next one. Should parents be punished by their children's crimes ok, cuando digo children's no me refiero a children's, lleva apóstrofe y a ese porque el crimen es de los niños o más bien de los hijos, no necesariamente niños, verdad, sino que se refiere pues a los crímenes de los hijos Do we have volunteers for this uh, important question? Mm -hmm. Anyone who wants to be the first one? Ellie ok, Ellie Prefiero ser la primera antes que me ponchen. Vaya, le está ganando a Carito entonces en, en la manita. Ajá. Vaya, sería. Should parents be punished for their children crying? In my opinion, it depends on the king of parents that their minor has. But there are many factors to take into account in order to the parents. Lack of responsibility. No, um, no compliance with the basic right of the children. Consolment, abandonment, complicity, among others. Yes, that's it. There are a lot of factors, as you mentioned, that are, uh, that are part of the, the causes why uh, the kids or the children uh, commit crimes. Yes, that's so true. Okay, so, but at the end, Ellie says, depends. 
depends on the case. Well, let, let's listen to Kenya. Thank you, Ellie. Very good. Okay, teacher. Just because on certain uh, a question, uh, question parents are guilty of the bad acts of their children sense education and uh, princi principles beget at how? Okay, yes. So Kenya says, yes, we as fathers have the obligation to teach uh, principles and values and all those things to the next generations, right? Okay, another good sí. one. Yeah. Porque de ahí viene la educación. That's it. La casa. From families. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From home. From home. Good. Very nice, uh, Kenya. Okay. And who's next? Who wants to be next for this question? If not, I can select someone. Okay. Carlos. Go ahead, my friend. Okay, teacher. Yes. They stole, and because the personality of it, personal is tracking according the education, a love, love, and attention they is give to ten in the shield of shield of. Okay. Okay. Yes, you said an important word, attention. Yes. And with attention, practically it's time for time of quality, tiempo de calidad. Okay, yes. But uh, yes or no, Carlos, should parents be punished by their children's crimes? Yes, no, or depends? Yes. Okay. Uh, who's next? Thank you. Um, let's select to Carly. Hello, go ahead. Hello. Um, yes, because the education begins from house. I am not mother and I can to say that I hold with my son or daughter to the authority. 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 Because I don't I don't know how I would write in the situation so fifty percent not in a fifteen percent yes. Oh. I agree. Yes, continue, uh, Carly. Yes. Finish. Oh, finish. Very good opinion, Carly, because you said you don't have kids, right? But uh, you have like an idea how to, how, uh, well, about the, this question. And you say, well, 50 50. And a word that you said was, well, where education begins at home. And I strongly agree. Yo realmente pienso eso. And even maybe some of us, uh, we don't have kids, but it doesn't mean that we don't have an opinion about this because uh, it is like a chain, es como una cadena, right? Chain is repeating. So, okay. thank you, Carly, very nice. And okay. who else? Ah, Edwin, okay, Edwin, your turn. Okay. Uh... In my opinion, in me, in me, in my opinion, parents are also to blame because they are the one who should educate. They instill values in them, give them love and attention to respect others and respect their belongings. Yes, belongings, good. Uh, that's one example. Uh, las pertenencias. One example, when they are kids and they start stealing, comienzan a steal, tenemos esto, steal, y tenemos uh, steal. Okay. 
um, so a word that you said is blame, culpa. Yes, that's it, blame, mm -hmm. culpa. So yes, parents, uh, parents uh, have or they are blamed because of uh, kids' actions. Thank you, thank you very very much, Edwin. Good opinion. Um, as you said, love, love and attention. Kids need love and attention, and of course, correction. That's it. Uh, a word. Still, uh, tenemos acá. Tenemos thief. Bueno, still es robar. Ok. Y thief es ladrón. Ok. So, if you listen, still es robar, to take something. Thief es ladrón. Ok. Good. Uh, let's listen. Who else? Solo nos quedan 22 minutos. Ya casi igual de Friday. Ok. Anyone else? ¿Quién se anima? Yeah. Select two. Steffi, what about you? Ready? Teacher, eso no la hice. Ahí sí. Está llorando. No hice esa. Se está haciendo la víctima, Steffi. Ok. Sí, y sí, dice. Okay, teacher. Go to Steffi. Yes, Luis, please. Um, my answer is I think not. Uh, because each person is respons responsibility for the acts they commit. Also, parents have the responsibility to education their children well. Okay, nice. Responsible. Fíjate que se, se lee algo así. Respond, respond. Respond. En teoría, así se lee. Responsible. Sin la E, ¿verdad? Pero se escribe Ajá. responsible. Pero se pronuncia responsible. Bien raro. Esa responsible. palabra es súper extraña. Yes. Responsible. Okay. Yes. Well, Luis says, okay. first, not because everyone commits crime. Que alguien comete su crime. And uh, everyone is like uh, the only guilty, el único culpable de sus errores. Right? Yes. Depends on the things that they do. Okay. Good point, mm -hmm. uh, Luis. And if we want to blame, si queremos culpar, if we want to blame the parents all the time, there are there is a point in which the person is adult and they know, or he or she knows what they are doing. If it is good or it is not good. If it is legal or not. Thank you, Luis. Uh, Walter, you go. Hello, teacher. Sure. Uh, my opinion is not because each person made their decision in life. Okay. Every person makes decisions in life. Yes, yeah, similar to Luis, okay? Everyone uh, is like, uh, it is not pushed to do some things, but at least when they are adults. Okay. Yes, that's it. Well, another good point. Thank you, Walter. Okay. And we're going to have a worksheet. Vamos a hacer preguntas ahora. Yes. And, pero también tenemos uh, affirmative. Um, negative, if you notice here. Negative, here we have questions. Question, okay, question. Negative. Let's do, uh, let's finish with this topic that it is- Teacher, present. lo puede, perdón, teacher, lo puede agrandar. No, okay. Está muy pequeñito. Really, okay. Let's Gracias. Start. Thank you. You're welcome. Vamos a ir primero de la uno. Okay. That's it. Um, who starts from one to seven? Anyone? Affirmative, affirmative, negative. Uh, question, question, negative, question. Okay. Okay. Let's start with Wilfredo. And then Edwin. Uh, number one, teacher. Okay. She coming go now. Is going. Going. 
No. Oh. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, who else? Edwin, and then we we'll go with Steffi. Okay, the, the number five. Number five. She is crying. Mm, primero el, el verbo to be, sería? Is she crying? Good one. Is she crying? Okay, and Steffi and then Carlos. Three. Okay. She is not watching her hair. Her hair. Good one. Thank you. And Carlos, and then we go with Gabriel. Two, teacher. Okay, two. I am reading a green book. Okay. Thank you. Gabriel, your turn, and then we go with Carly. Si está lista. Number six. Okay, let's go with number six. He is. He is not studying. Latin. Latin. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, Carly, and then we go with. Ellie. We are driving to London. Okay. London. Driving. Okay, pero como es una pregunta, primero vamos con el verbo to be. ¿Qué sería? Okay. Uh, are. Mm -hmm. Are we? Yes. yes. Are we driving to London? Yes, because... And Ellie. <laughs> Ellie, uh, number four. Okay. Uh, is the cat? Chase is the verb. Chase. Okay. Is the chase? What significa chase, teacher? Perseguir. No. Is the cat chasing? Yes. Mice. Mice, a los ratones. Es el gato persiguiéndolo. Uh, uh, uh. Ok, good. And now let's teacher, continue. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, yo tengo una duda en esa, en, la, en esa cuarta. Uh -huh. Porque se le pone eh, is y no it. Ah, Estamos hablando no, no, de cat. No. Is the cat. Ajá. Ajá. Vaya. ¿Por qué le ponemos is y no it si estamos hablando de un animal? No sé bueno, mi pregunta. Ok, ok. Podría ser así. Sigamos. Que estamos hablando de un gato que se llama Ramón. Ramón se ah. llama el gato. Ok. So, Ramón is a black cat, bla, bla, Ramón. Y después estamos, queremos hablar de él. Entonces, aquí ven. Is it chasing mice? Ah, y está, y está cazando, está persiguiendo ratones. ¿De quién estamos ah. hablando? De Ramón. Entonces, ajá, ahí sería it, ¿verdad? En lugar, pero como tenemos el sujeto que es the cat, cat. que es el mismo Ramón, ¿verdad? O en lugar de the cat, uh, sí. en lugar de it, le ponemos Ramón. ¿Ya? Así okay, sería. Teach. Ok, gracias. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, uh, perfect, Adonai. Uh, Ramón. Ok. Uh, let's see, we have eight, nine, and ten. Mardo, are you ready for one? And William? Eight, nine, or ten? Uh, number eight. Are, okay. are, uh, are they watching TV? Yes. Are they watching TV? Thank you. William, what about you? Number 10. Okay. And then Walter. He might not live in... Live Number now. 10 is negative, William. It's negative. Okay. I am not... Yes. Live now. 
Living. Ah, living. Okay. Live. Ah, significa irse. Okay, irse. Okay, Walter, number ten, number nine. Okay. Mm, sería. Is she? Ah, ah. Comenzamos con el word, porque aquí está el word. Uh -huh. Después del word, sí va. ¿Qué dices? Uh -huh. uh, where is she? Yes. Going, going now. Yes. Now. She going now. Very nice. Good. Perfect. Okay. And now let's see. Okay. We're going to finish with this almost. Okay. So uh, we have to order. Tenemos que ordenar las palabras. Okay. Is that making breakfast this morning? Okay. Good. We go with Carito and then uh, Adonai. Bien, Carito. Sigue tu corazón. I am. Well, Jane. Moment. Are you listening to? Okay. Hmm. Aha, Carito. Hola, Carito. Estás hablando, pero no te escuchamos. I'm sorry. Number three. Do you oh. listen? Okay, Carito. Uh, vaya, Carito y después Andrés, porque me parece que Andrés quiere ir <coughs> para ahí. Ok, okay no, number five. Number five. Let me, one second. Um, the artist isn't painting a picture now. Yes. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. Uh, Andres, me parece, right? Yes. Okay, number three, right? Uh, okay. I am flying to New York at the moment. Okay, good. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, Adonai, could you help us? And after Adonai, we go with Mark. Adonai. Okay. You are listening to music. Okay. What number? Number four. Uh, Baba, that, that's okay. a question. So. Are you? Yes. Are you listening to music? Thank you. Okay, Mardo. Thank you. Uh, number, number two. Right. So. The actors aren't wearing, wearing, the actor aren't wearing costumes tonight. Yes. Okay. Sí, los actores no están utilizando este, esto es disfraz o vestuario, costume, costumes. Mm -hmm. Costume. Yes, okay. the actors aren't wearing costumes tonight. Okay, very good, my friends, and we're going to finish uh, this with uh, should parents be punished by their children's crimes? And I like to know um, Andres' point of view. Andres, are you ready? And then uh, Wilfredo. Esta sí no la hice. Okay, Sorry. Wilfredo. Are you ready for in this? My opinion. Answer? Yes. In, in my opinion, my parents both were to bring substance to the house and that is why their children are drift, drifting on the, on the wrong path. Okay. Yes, uh, maybe as you said, parents are just focused on 
providing food and providing things what is necessary to to, the, to families, but uh, they sometimes olvidan, uh, verdad, los chicos. Okay. Thank you, Wilfredo. Marvin and Carito. Okay, Marvin. Okay, my opinion is it depends when small, yes, as adult and with the ability to decide. Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, when they are young, when they are kids, they don't have the ability or they don't have the maturity to decide what is right and what is wrong. Okay, so that's why maybe, uh, well, the parents are more responsible than ever. Carito, what do you think about this? Actually, I have an other opinion. Uh, should parents be punished by their children's crime? Well, not really. Each person is responsible for their own actions and must answer for the, the things they do. But obviously, talking about uh, children that no babies, for example, no to uh, young. Teenagers, adolescentes, teenagers? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in that case, uh, do you consider that maybe or not necessary? <sighs> Controversial, really, but I think no, the, the, the parents should be punished. Should it? No. Should it? No. Should. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good point. Thank you, Carito. Okay, now let's listen to William and then Gabriel. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, maybe partly, yes, because they are fundamental pillars of addition and bother and we are responsibly responsible for our actions. Responsible, aunque aquí tenga y es con a responsible. Yeah, another good point. Thank you, William. And Gabriel and Steffi to finish. Ya casi para ir terminando. Gabriel, are oh, you ready? Okay, I am the father of a beautiful baby, 13 years. Okay. All and even so. I consider, consider that yes, it is that is there are bad children, children, it is because we have bad parents. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good point. Even so, aun así, even so, very good words. Gabriel, very nice, thank you. And um, Steffi? Teacher quiere que me haga otra vez la víctima. Ah, es cierto. Very nice. Quiero ver. Bueno, nos quedamos pues ya casi acá por terminar. Este, antes de pasar la lista, eh, recordarles, recordarles que deben de terminar la unidad 3. Hay algunos que la terminaron desde el miércoles. Congratulations. Felicidades para quienes terminaron con anticipación. Y los que no, ahorita estoy viendo las caritas de que es cierto. Ok. So, you can finish. Tranquilo, Marvin. You can finish tonight or tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pueden terminar la mañana a las 8 de la mañana antes. Porque a esa hora yo tengo que pasar notas. Y al pasar notas, pues eh, prácticamente tengo que simplemente pues trasladar la, la cantidad de yo no califico sino que más bien es la plataforma en sí ¿okay? es la plataforma la, la, la que les, les, les da el puntaje de acuerdo a ustedes eh, recuerden si ustedes um, tienen baja nota o tienen menos del 8% porque necesitan un 80% de, para pasar la mayoría tiene 100 90 verdad casi no baja pero si ustedes tienen 80 o 
eh, eh, o menos, eh, les recomiendo que lo vuelvan a hacer. Right? Es la ventaja de la plataforma es que lo pueden volver a hacer. Así que ahora o mañana, sé que están cansados, pero pues necesito que hagan el, el pequeño esfuerzo. Solo nos queda una semana más. Una semana más. Sí, sí, sí. Yes. Este, en la plataforma aparecen, vaya, cuando habla el resultado, aparecen dos tipos de, de colores. No sé qué identifican esos colores. El verde es el es que está bien. El rojo es que está mal hecha. La oración o el ejercicio. No, habla sí. el porcentaje, teacher. ¿Qué colores te aparecen? Color Como vino. ocre y rojo, algo así. Ajá, algo así. Déjame revisar, déjame revisar cómo va el progreso de cada uno. Lo que pasa es que algunos es como una, un gráfico y ahí de, demuestra cómo va el avance de todos ustedes. Último aviso, la otra semana les va a llegar un, una encuesta que ya saben que es la encuesta de satisfacción, es la final. Esa encuesta, please, no la hagan sino hasta el último día de clase. Please, please, please. ¿Se recuerdan lo que les dije? ¿Qué clase fue ayer o antes? Que los salvadoreños normalmente nos cuesta seguir indicaciones. Pero yo sé que ustedes son súper listos y atentos y pendientes y se acuerdan de todo y sí van a seguir las indicaciones o mis indicaciones. Las de otros teachers no las sigan, pero las mías sí. Ok. Necesito que esa encuesta no la hagan. No la hagan, ¿ok? La vamos a hacer hasta el último día de clases, que es el viernes, listo para irnos después a la playa en Semana Santa. Ahora, también me imagino que esta semana les llegó una encuesta de satisfacción docente. Son dos encuestas que normalmente llegan. Una que es encuesta de satisfacción docente y la otra que es satisfacción del curso, la, la final. ¿Verdad? ¿No? ¿No les ha llegado ninguna todavía? Ok. Teacher, eh, en lo personal sí me llegó una encuesta, pero no la llené pensando que era la, la final. Entonces, ¿sí se debe llenar esa o si gusta, ninguna de las dos? Si gusta, mándame captura a, a mensaje eh, personal, privado. Okay. Yo le voy a decir cuál es cuál. Ajá, lo que pasa es que a veces con las indicaciones fallamos, ¿verdad? Eh, por lo menos a veces lo... lo con el tema de los, de, de los tiempos, pero de lunes o de martes en adelante o miércoles les va a llegar la información de la encuesta final. ¿Ok? So that's okay. It para darles eh, eso y la encuesta final se llena al final del curso. Me imagino que el curso pasado tuvieron problemas con el teacher anterior. No. No, quizás la sí. llenamos hasta el último día. Perfecto, perfecto. Eh, dice Walter, ¿mandaron para inscribir el nuevo módulo? Sí, desde ya están mandando y recibiendo yeah. documentación para el nuevo módulo. Así, es. así que, my friends, eh, vamos a ver. Bueno, como me acaban de participar, no problem, it's time to sleep. No vamos a ir a dormir, ¿verdad? No problem, ¿ok? Terminan las tareas de la unidad 3, ¿verdad? Ya las listas, ya las tengo acá, ¿verdad? Los he ido anotando, así que, ah, solo se me queda Mardo. Mardo, ¿te quedas? ¿Verdad? Anóteme a mí, por favor. Teacher, teacher ¿ya llamó lista? Sí, sí, no, no hay problema. Como ya me dijeron sus opiniones con, la, con las preguntas, ahí los iba chequeando. Ok. okay, okay thank you. Bye, bye. bye, bye. Mardo, te quedas. El resto, bye, bye. 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 Eh, ah, podemos hacer dos cosas. Una es revisar algún tema que tú consideres que te, se te dificulta o podemos practicar. O, y la otra es, es una pequeña entrevista básica en inglés. Tú me dices. Sí. Mejor la entrevista. Mejor la entrevista. Excelente. Es, A ver eh, si le agarro algo ahí. De la, sí, hombre, sí, es bien básica. La es, conversación. No problem. It's really eh, simple. Es bastante simple. Dame. Quiero ver. Ok. Let's see. Ok. Uh, Tú me contestas todo en inglés. Ok. okay. Si no captas, eh, tú me dices, I don't know o I don't get it. Que es como, no, no, no entiendo. Ok. I don't know o I don't get it. Comenzamos. Hello. Hello, teacher. 
How are you? I'm fine, thank you, and you? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. What's your name? My name is Mardoqueo Ramirez Perez. Perfect, how old are you? I am uh, 50 years old. Perfect, and tell me, uh, how do you spell your last name? How do you spell your last name? R A M I N R E X Z. Okay, Z. Z. Okay. Z. Sorry. Very nice. No problem. And uh, Mardo, what time is it? It is uh, two past uh, ten. Perfect. Ten. Very nice. Yes, that's it. Okay. Uh, what's your phone number? My my phone number is Mardoqueo Ramirez Perez. Oh no no your phone number. Oh uh, sorry phone uh, phone 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 number. Yes, phone. My phone number is seven one six one seven eight five six. Oh, that's good. And what's your occupation? Uh, I I'm technical technical food. Oh, technician. Okay, very nice. Now. Very good. Now, uh, tell me about yourself, whatever you want to say about yourself, okay? Your favorite colors, uh, food, about your family, about your free time activities, hobbies, whatever, okay? Dime acerca de ti. Tell me about yourself. I am um, a person uh, serious, responsible, um, and honest, and honest. My, um, uh, I like service and the church. Good, very nice. Okay, thank you, Mardo. And can you describe one member of your family? Describe one member of your family. You can use uh, physical appearance adjectives, personality adjectives. Hay que describir un miembro de la familia. My my wife is a, a counter. Okay. She is a a, a tigreña. No sé cómo se dice piel, uh, piel. White skin. White skin. White, white skin. Okay. Uh, she is beautiful. Okay. That's perfect. Good. And now tell me, um, what's your favorite movie? Um, my favorite movie is um, uh, Matrix. Yeah, and, that's it. And um, Matrix in, in, in special all the all, all the uh, can you read the actor can you read okay Ken Reeves movies yes Ken Reeves is one of the best actors yeah he has yeah. a lot of good movies okay good and now tell me um what do you do in your free time Marco what do you do in your free time and free time uh I like I like to to walk with my my dog. Oh yeah, on the, walk with uh, dog. on the street. Yes, that's perfect, and that's very healthy, muy saludable. Okay, and now uh, tell me, what uh, the vegetables? What are the vegetables you don't like?
I don't know. Uh -huh. Vegetables, los vegetales, vegetables you don't like, que no te gusta. Ah, ah ok, ok. Um, vegetable, I don't like. Uh, uh, um, uh, garlic. Yeah, garlic. Okay. Garlic. Ok, and what's uh, your favorite fruit? ¿Cuál es tu fruta favorita? What's your favorite fruit? Uh, I, uh, my favorite fruit is, is mango oh, and yes. pera, pera, pear. Okay, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, Mardo, that's the, 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 the basic interview. Esa es la, la, la entrevista básica. Ya viste, está bastante okay. Solo hay, okay. una, hay unas preguntas, no problem. Hay unas preguntas que sí te componen un poquito. Por ejemplo, tu phone number. What's your phone number? Tú creo que captaste. What's your full name? Quizás. Tu nombre completo, ¿verdad? Porque me dijiste tu nombre. Así es. Ajá. Está, right. a, andas bastante bien con el inglés, Mardo. Este, ¿Ya habías tomado un curso antes? Sí, la verdad que sí. Sí, se nota sí. que manejas cierto vocabulario y, y andas bien, ¿verdad? Solo que sí te recomiendo bastante este, que leas un, por lo menos uno o dos minutos al día cualquier noticia en inglés. Graba con, bueno, con el recorder grabador de voz para que te escuche porque a veces uno está cantando canciones en la mente lee cosas pero no movemos los labios entonces creemos que practicamos pero el practicar es mover verdad articular eso okay. te va a ayudar bastante canta pues en voz baja pero canta canciones los coros de las canciones eh, configura tu teléfono en inglés o por lo menos tu facebook y todas esas cosas te ayudan a meterte todavía más ajá, en, el, se llama, en el inglés y, y creo que va bastante bien. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Va a estar bastante bien y espero que, que sigas en, en los siguientes módulos. Porque, sí, eh, me alegra ver que, que, que estás avanzando con los thinking activities. Han estado bastante bien todos. Has dado buenas opiniones. Así que cualquier cosa, pues, ahí estamos para apoyar más. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome, my friend. Así que nos vemos el lunes, okay? Good night. Good night. Perfect. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.